the Wacom Center is basically the control panel for you to customize your Centic Pro 27 and also the Express keys and the other input devices like the Pro Pen 3. And let's start with the Pro Pen 3 and let's have a look at the customization options. So if I click on Pro Pen 3, you will see, okay, I have a couple of options where I can personalize this specific pen. First of all, you have up to three buttons. You can assign keyboard shortcut, modifier keys, and um, certain functionalities directly by clicking on the respective button. And then the menu opens immediately and you can choose out of the list. So we have structured it a bit. We start with the recommended one by Wacom, like the mouse clicks for the pen, or using functionalities like pen and scroll or opening a radio menu. But there is much more, and this is structured in clicks, keyboard, activities like shortcuts or modifier keys, and many, many more, including also operating the on-screen shortcuts. Besides this, you can also adjust the sensitivity of the tip by um, using either the slider and change between soft and firm, and you can also immediately test it how much you have to press for maximum and minimum pressure levels in the test area up there. If you really want to fine-tune the sensitivity of the pen, you can also click on Advanced. And here you have basically the, the option to control the pressure curve by either using um, the three buttons here or using the, the triangles on top. Also, other settings you can do here is adjust tilt sensitivity and also disable or enable Windows Ink as well. There's another nice feature in the Wacom Center I would like to introduce to you, which is called application-specific settings. So by default, all the settings you can do, for in this case for the Pro Pen, are valid for all applications you're working with. But you can also have different settings for different applications in your workflow. And um, let's make an example here. For example, I will add an application, which is a drawing application called Krita, and I want to change the button settings for this specific application. And to do this, I will we click on the plus here in the application bar and then a window pops up saying, okay, select an application. Two ways to do this. F first of all, it shows me all the current running applications with Krita already listed, or I can use the browse button and way, go to the Windows Explorer and pick uh, the application manually. I click on Krita, click on OK, and now you can see what has changed. All application has changed to all other applications and Krita is now integrated with the name and also the symbol and it's already highlighted. So that means that all the settings I do now here uh, with the pen buttons are only active when I'm working with the ProPen tree within Krita. If I go out for example to the Windows environment, to the Explorer, the standard settings are still there. For example, let's take the middle button, it's now pen and scroll by default and I want to use this one to open a radio menu with on-screen shortcuts. So now in Krita on the middle button I have the on-screen shortcuts where when I click on all other applications for all the rest of applications it is pen and scroll still. So this is a feature called application specific settings and this is not limited to a single application you can add as many applications to the application bar as you want and you can basically program very specific settings for each and any application in your workflow.